Did you know that there are black holes in the ocean? Yeah, also known as eddies, these black holes are similar to the ones we see in space. They're essentially whirlpools that are so powerful, nothing can escape their pull. What makes them even scarier is their size. They are massive. Some measure up to 150 kilometers in diameter. They're created through a mix of water at different temperatures, wind, and the Earth's rotation. And once they're created, they can last for months or years. Yeah, though it may not seem like it, the ocean is a much more terrifying place than the cosmos. From hideous, alien-like creatures to the mysteries that lie below the sea, these are just some of the reasons why the ocean is scarier than space. We've yet to discover alien life, but looking at some of these creatures, you might think otherwise. Unlike our solar system, the ocean is full of terrifying wildlife, from creatures as simple as sharks and killer whales to the more disturbing looking red octopuses and proboscis worms. Regardless of their appearance, many of them are dangerous and won't be afraid to pick a fight. Earth's ocean might be more mysterious than parts of space. For one, we don't really know what the bottom of our oceans are like, and we might just know more about the surface of Mars and the Moon, but NASA is looking to change that. They're slowly mapping out the ocean floor. This might give us clues about what oceans are like on other planets. It also helps NASA test gear that will be used in space missions. Outer space and our ocean are more similar than we think. Both have high pressures, a lack of breathable air, and extreme temperatures. But what makes the ocean scarier? It's teeming with life that can attack and kill you. Yeah, space is passively trying to kill you, while the ocean is actively trying to kill you. Huge destructive asteroids or meteors heading toward Earth are incredibly rare, but you know what isn't? The ocean coming for us. Climate change is causing sea levels to rise at an alarming rate, and if the trend continues, our sea levels could rise over two meters by the year 2100. Coastal communities like Venice, Bangkok, and New York City would face severe floods, causing parts of these cities to be displaced. Light works differently in both space and the ocean. In space, without an atmosphere, the light is harsh and unfiltered. This leads to problems like radiation exposure. Luckily, with our advanced space technology, we found a lot of ways to overcome this. In the deep ocean, there's a lack of light. Depending on how deep you go, it can be so dark that you're unable to see anything. The only thing you can see are the terrifying creatures that have evolved to adapt to this unique environment. Their evolutions have made them frightening looking and potentially dangerous. Space has some scary things that can come for us, like solar flares, giant explosions from the sun that shoot light, energy, and high-speed particles out into space. One massive solar flare hitting Earth could disable all our electronics, sending us back to the Stone Age. Yeah, the chances of one hitting us are incredibly rare, though. Most of the time, they just bounce off our ozone layer. But you know what isn't so rare? Hurricanes. These powerful weather events form over the ocean. If they end up reaching land, they can bring extremely high winds and heavy rainfalls, which can leave entire towns flooded, even decimated. And they're not the only devastating events that come from the ocean. Tsunamis are much more terrifying. These massive waves can reach over 30 meters high, and once they reach land, they're incredibly dangerous. They can cause severe floods and destroy anything on the coast. The Indian Ocean tsunami of 2004 killed 225,000 people. No one's ever got lost in space. With an entire support team watching over you using billions of dollars worth of technology and GPS systems, you can rest easy knowing you're in good hands. But in the ocean, people get lost all the time. Just swimming out a little bit farther than you usually would while at the beach can leave you stranded, unable to find land. 
The ocean has over 3 million shipwrecks in it, making it one of the most dangerous places on Earth. You don't have to worry about random weather attacks in space. In the ocean, it's a different story. Lightning can strike the ocean at any time. It happens often due to its sheer size and it being a magnet for lightning. When lightning strikes, it can spread for up to 100 meters, and this poses a threat to boats, swimmers, and sea life. The ocean is full of dangerous bacteria. One of the worst is the flesh-eating bacteria that's found in the warm parts of the Gulf of Mexico. The bacteria can get into swimmers' open wounds and cause ulcers on the skin. Antibiotics should be able to solve this issue, but it can sometimes get so bad you need to amputate a limb. Yeah. Space doesn't have anything as scary as that. Up in space, there's a ton of debris known as space junk. And while there's some concern about the debris making space travel dangerous, it's not nearly as concerning as all the garbage we have swimming around in the ocean. In the North Pacific Ocean, there's a massive island of waste known as the Great Pacific Garbage Patch. It's made up of mostly plastics, making it almost impossible to break down. As a result, it's harming ocean wildlife and could destroy entire ecosystems. Up in space, the debris is monitored closely by space agencies. They're constantly looking at ways to mitigate the issue, but down in the ocean, the problem keeps getting worse and it'll take a long time before it gets any better. So although the vast unknowns of space are pretty terrifying, they don't come anywhere near to how scary our oceans can be. You know what else is terrifying? spending five seconds on Venus. What mysteries does this planet hold? Well, that's a story for another What If.